We are live. Uh, yep. And uh, uh, I'd like to welcome Gunnar Nelson Thank to the set. Much. Yeah. Uh, from uh, the UFC and from our local MMA team, Mjolnir, which uh, a lot of the devs go to uh, every day to train all sorts of things, fitness, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, which is a, a really fun sport that I recommend to everybody. So uh, Gunnar Nelson is somewhat of a, an expert in the art of jiu-jitsu. Uh, when did you uh, start jiu-jitsu? When did you s discover it? Um, I was training karate until I was about 16. And my, uh, one of my coaches introduced me to jiu-jitsu. And we, he basically started, um, he asked me if I wanted to roll, if I wanted to wrestle. And I didn't know what he meant. <laughs> and then we started wrestling and he, he basically taught me that it, it was a, like a pretend fighting. You know, uh -huh. no, no punching, no kicking, no biting, just trying to get the other guy to surrender. And he yeah. beat my ass pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know any moves, so I, I basically fell in love with it. So uh, yeah, you just started at what, 16 or 17? Yeah, I was I was 16, about 16 when I started training. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember like um, back in Mjolnir actually when I was when I started there in like 2005, you were probably what 18 or something, and already uh, already uh, quite capable of uh, kicking my butt. So uh, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that gap has somewhat increased since then, uh, and uh, you are now in the UFC and. Uh, you actually wore the Dust logo on your shirt last time. It was really fun to see. We had a big party here in the cantina with like 70 people watching and having some beers. And it was a great, great, great match. And uh, so what's it like being in the UFC all of a sudden? I mean, you've been watching it for a long time and stuff. And how, what's it like to walk in there for the first time? Um, yeah, it's, it's like a dream come true, really. I've been watching the UFC since I was a kid and since I started, really. And... And I, w I would be lying if, I, if I'd say that it wasn't always the goal. It, like, I always had my eye on it, although you never, like, it wasn't the only thing I thought about, but it was, it was always a goal, you know. And being there and, and walking in, and yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling, and uh, uh, I'm very appreciative. And, and I like working with CCP and I uh, like Dust, even though I don't play video games that much. I probably wouldn't be in the UFC <laughs> if they did. But uh, yeah, I, I love working with the, the CCP people and, and yourself. We've obviously known for a long time and uh, that's, uh, that's a pleasure as well for me to, to be sponsored by Dust, you know. Good stuff. And uh, there's uh, you, you had some injury uh, problems, an injured knee that you uh, uh, took you took a break and healed up nicely and now back to training. And there was a there was a rumor on Twitter uh, recently that you had a new opponent that was being lined up. Nothing official yet, as I understand, but uh, your opponent, uh, your possible opponent, tweeted that uh, a, a match had been verbally agreed upon uh, without confirming anything. How 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 is this? How's this, this guy's fighting game? What, what can you tell us about him? Yeah, Omari Akhmedov, he's a Russian fighter. He's a Sambo champion, and he, he said on Twitter that verbally he had agreed to, to fighting me March 8th in London. And I'm not going to lie, we, we have been discussing this, but it, there's nothing official yet. But He's. Uh, I'll be very excited to fight him. He's a very experienced and 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 tough fighter. He's. He only fought his first fight in the UFC. Uh, about a few months ago, and. He knocked the guy out in first round, so that's pretty impressive. He he's very tough on on the feet. He he swings a lot with his arms and, and kind of he's a bit wild on the feet and very technical on the ground. You know with his both with his takedowns and, and his ground skills. And I guess we'll go over some ground skills later yeah. and we can, we yeah. can yeah. summon it up a yeah. little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gunnar is gonna, is gonna show us some moves later and explain a little bit how jiu-jitsu works and how it applies in, in the UFC, for example. And, uh, and maybe, maybe we'll get some devs to uh, suffer through some, uh, some tricks. That would be fun. Uh, 
and uh, while the people in there are, are cooking, we're going to be cooking up some ideas for how to cause maximum pain to, to our fellow developers on the mats here. Uh, yeah, so this, this new opponent, he's, uh, he's really exciting. I was, I was looking at some tapes with him. He looks, he looks big. He looks really strong. Uh, if, if, if I'd say anything, I'd guess you, you might have a bit of a speed advantage. He's, uh, he's really, like, really big, tough guy. Uh, coming. And he's coming from a bigger weight class even, so he's gonna be he's gonna be a handful to deal with, I guess. Yeah, this is his first time dropping down to welterweight. He's been fighting in middleweight, so I I hear he um, he felt he was a little bit too small and he hadn't been cut, cutting too much weight in middleweight. So now he's coming down to welterweight, and I guess that's gonna be his first time to cut weight. We'll see how he how he coops with that, and but yeah, he's definitely gonna be bigger and, and, and probably more powerful, but like you said, slower. Yeah. Uh, it looked like looked like that. Uh, you, you probably have a speed advantage. So um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. I hope hope the fight uh, happens. Hope we see a fight booked soon. The date looks exciting. I I personally uh, I was thinking uh, I was thinking without confirming anything uh, myself. Uh, just I had this idea. It would be pretty great if we could like just go to London uh, uh, a few times. Maybe have a party the night before and then just uh, go see the fights or something. That'll be that'll be good. Uh, nothing decided, but uh, we'll look into it and uh, it'll be fun. It's a good idea. Um, so, uh, jujitsu is it like? Do you think? Do you think like uh, your jujitsu is obviously like your strong strong point? Yeah. How how has it been to come from like? How has your striking been uh, evolving as you could because you come from like a karate background? How has it been uh, evolving alongside when you know being in the UFC and and going against all these boxers and Muay Thai guys and and stuff like that? Has it been changing a lot? <coughs> Um, yeah, my, my striking has evolved a lot as well. I, like you said, I, I started off with striking. I started off with karate and we started doing kickboxing as well. And, and then, uh, like I said, I fell in love with jiu-jitsu and I, I started spending a lot more time on the ground game because that was my weakest point. And, and I fell in love with it and I did it so much that it became my strong point. Yeah. And I, I feel, in a way, that's what's happening again the other direction. Yeah. So I've been concentrating a lot more on striking now than than ground game, and and I'm I'm finding a lot of new angles and and, yeah. and things that I that I didn't realize when I was starting and then when I was just doing karate. There's a lot a lot two different styles and like like you said, Thai boxing and boxing. There's there's many many little techniques that you can kind of add to your own style and create your own style and. Basically, like Bruce Lee said, have have no style as style, yeah, you know. Yeah. Just just do whatever, yeah. do whatever works, and, and mix it all together. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like that's uh, that's what's happening now. Yeah. I'm very excited to to have a fight soon, you know. Yeah. So uh, if if I'm 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 hearing that uh, uh, we're taking a yeah, we're going to the kitchen soon, but like, yeah, Th thanks for being on. We'll be back later, and uh, we're gonna do some uh, do some moves on the mats later.